What's going on guys? So today it's raining. I haven't really been working on the van too much today, but yesterday I uh, started doing some stuff in the kitchen area. But today's video I want to talk a little bit about how much I'm actually spending on the van and how much I'm actually saving. Um, I know a couple people that want to start getting into this and kind of build it, build a van. So today's video I'm just going to go over uh, how much I'm actually spending and how you can build this cheap uh, but still make it look really really well. First I'm going to start off with the uh, the floor and the subfloor. I, um, I already made a video about the flooring in a previous video. I'm pretty sure it was the very first video I ever made on the van build. So if you want to go check that out, it's uh, all the specs and stuff and uh, what brand it is. So for two boxes of the laminate, I paid $14. Um, I got it from a place called Habitat for Humanity. It's, um, it's pretty much a place where uh, like manufacturers and stuff will just give them well not give them but donate kind of extra boxes that they have and all of it goes to charity so there's no tax there and stuff is really really cheap because they just want to get rid of it so I got two boxes of that for $14 and the subfloor is a OSB plywood it's not plywood but it's a, a particle board almost and it's um, that's what the name of it is, is OSB it's quarter inch and I paid nine dollars for that and I bought that brand new. Um, it's a four by eight sheet. I got it just from uh, Home Depot. So that pretty much covers the uh, flooring. Next, we're gonna move to the insulation and the reflective. So I got two pieces of four by eight insulation with the reflective on one side. And they were $12 each, so I bought two. And it came to $24. I still have a little bit left, so I didn't use the whole um, the whole two sheets of the insulation. I only insulated the top part with that. So um, the sides I did with uh, the reflective stuff and a roll of that I got for $30. It was a pretty big roll. I don't know exactly how big it was, but it was more than enough to do the back window, the two back windows. I have one cut out for there. This window, um, the back, the other side of the back window, and all underneath um, where the cutouts are on the uh, walls. So, yeah, I paid thirty dollars for that, and I had more than enough to do all of that. I've had a lot of people asking me about the paneling and uh, the stain. The paneling is just regular construction one by four from Home Depot. They were a dollar seventy-seven for uh, for an eight-foot piece. I bought 40 of those and that came out to $70. So I pretty much paneled the whole inside here for under $100. Um, the stain I got was $15 and it is Minwax uh, Wood Finish Penetrating Stain. This is in a dark walnut color uh, and the number is 2718. So if you guys are looking for uh, the, the same finish that I did. That's the uh, that's the number you're looking for is two seven one six. Um, I pretty much I only I didn't even use half the can uh, on all of this, and I'm still gonna stain a couple other things, but I still have a couple pieces of one by fours left from the paneling. I used it on my bed uh, for the cross uh, braces for the top of my bed, and I still have uh, I'd say five left. So for for under a hundred dollars, I did all the paneling. Um, oh yeah, and I even did back there too. And I have a couple scrap pieces too that I'm going to be using. I'm trying to trying to use all the pieces. Uh, I don't want to waste much. I uh, I have like little nub pieces that I already um, put back in the the fire pit or whatever, but you can't really use those. So I did all that, all the paneling, um, the top braces for my bed, and I'm still going to use a couple more for shelves that I'm planning on making. For the top support beams. I used one by sixes. I tried to use one by fours, but they were too narrow. So I got one by sixes and they were $2.30 each. I bought five of those, so it came out to about $11. Um, I just did each uh, beam with a one by six, so I could have something to drill the paneling to. 
Uh, you can check those out in other videos too, how I did that. So there's a one by six, one by fours, and I bought two by twos for the construction of my bed and the construction of my kitchen area. I still have, I bought 20 of them. I used about 10 or so on my bed. I bought 20 and they're $2.39 each. So I paid 47.80 for 20 of them. Um, the bed costs about 20, 25 dollars to make, which is pretty cheap. Not including the hinges, which were 10 bucks. I got four, four brass hinges uh, for the back. And for this, I still have about five left. So I'm gonna try to finish the kitchen area with those five. Uh, they're eight foot pieces. Um, the, the one by sixes were eight feet and the, the everything I got was uh, they're eight feet long. So I still have some left for the kitchen area that um, I'm just kind of using. And um, I think I'm gonna to have to get a couple more of those, but I don't know um, how many. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I um, Another thing too, I looked into regular paneling, like just the tongue and groove ones, and they're 850 per piece. So, um, and those were 10 foot pieces. So if I did all that in tongue and groove, I would have been spending $340 on just the paneling. But I paid 70 and I saved about $270 on that. These are a little bit thicker than the uh, the tongue groove. The tongue groove are probably like quarter inch, these are about half inch. Um, but if you if, if you want to put the work in and sand everything down so the stain will uh, soak into the to the wood properly, you can make it look good. Like uh, I'm no carpenter or anything like that. I, uh, I just watch a lot of videos and read stuff. And um, I just get ideas and I make it practical to what I want. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I know a lot of people have been asking um, how much I'm actually spending. Uh, so I probably spent about 220 to $230 before taxes on the floor, the walls, the insulation, in my bed and half of quarter of my kitchen area so if you have any questions just leave them down in the uh, comment section below I'm glad to answer anything um, if you have any problems or anything like that I'll help you out to the best of my ability like I said I'm no carpenter I'm no pro I'm just doing this um, to save some money and travel cheap and do what I want if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, I'm going to be doing these budget kind of videos at the end of uh, every installment. Uh, just to kind of go over how much I actually spend. Because I know a lot of um, people want to get into this. But uh, are afraid of spending tons and tons of money. Uh, I'm trying to do this on a budget. Uh, as cheap as I can. But I still want it to look really um, well. Like I want it to come off as a, a nice place. you know, Because I'm going to be staying here. So uh, I'm trying to put as much work into it as possible, but trying to save as much money as possible at the same time. So if you know anybody that's trying to get into this, um, send them my way. Uh, I'm going to be doing these videos a lot. Um, I'm going to try to give as much knowledge as I know out. Um, next, I'm going to be doing the cab, uh, the rest of the kitchen area, and the uh, shelf. I'm going to be putting more shelves in. So stay tuned to those videos. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, hope you guys have a good day. And until next time, take it easy, guys.